Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be doing one of the most exciting social experiments yet. Um, this video is sponsored by Hersey B Enterprises. Uh, they are an AI tech company who are at the forefront of our journey into the future. They are sending me one of their cyborgs that they're working on, which I am very excited about getting. Um, so, very excited to be working with them. They're sending me a fully functioning AI humanoid companion called the Hersey B Lovelace Test 2.0 approved model. She is a five foot six cyborg. Um, she can speak any language. She can cook any gourmet meal that you want, anything you can think of. She can also entertain your guests. So she's pretty much an all round useful being to have in the house. Very excited to not do chores for the next week. Um, I don't know why I'm referring to her as a she. I mean, the promotional images very much look like she's a woman, but it's absolutely a cyborg. So I don't know. It just kind of feels right to say she. Uh, we'll just see when it gets here. So they've emailed me a voice activated personality quiz so that Hersey B can fit my exact needs. So let's open it. What is your occupation? Content creator. Do you prefer to organize or be spontaneous? I think I'm quite spontaneous. Like I'm not really rigid with sticking to plans or anything. So probably spontaneous. Are you prone to worrying? Really, I think I worry the normal amount. You know, I worry about the big things sometimes, but mostly I'm pretty well adjusted and stuff. Do you gravitate towards leadership roles? I think I'm a pretty natural leader. I mean, I was always called bossy when I worked with other people, but that's what they call women who are in charge, right? So yeah, I'd say so. What do you think happens after death? What question is that? I don't know what I think happens after death. Do I try not you to give Hersey B Enterprises permission to view, edit, and share your data in order to make your user experience better. You must accept these terms in order to receive your Hersey B. Um, okay, yes, allow. Survey complete. Your Hersey B profile has been calibrated and will be uploaded to the model before arrival. Thank you for choosing Hersey B Enterprises. So Hersey B is going to be living with me for a week. Um, I'm very nervous because this is so futuristic and weird and I have no idea what to expect because obviously I've never done anything like this before. Hersey B Enterprises is sending out the cyborg as part of a series called um, My Week with a Cyborg. So yeah, I'm so excited to be a part of this opportunity. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just wait for the delivery uh, and see what happens. Guys, it's finally here. The box is so big. Dear Zoe Knight, we are so thrilled to have you as part of our Hersey B introduction campaign. Hersey B is excited to meet you. Hersey is able to help you with all your household and professional tasks. Not only is Hersey perfect for all of your personal needs, but she's great at parties. She's a trained entertainer and artist, so give her an instrument or a paintbrush and have her wow your guests. We've included an example of Hersey's creative work. To find out more about this, just use the voice commands, tell me more about your art. Your Hersey B does not need charging. Our brand new kind of internal processor means she is able to subsist using only sustainable solar power. We hope you enjoy your week with Hersey B. To put her in a temporary state of stasis, use the voice command Hersey B sleep. To turn her on, say the words Hersey B wake up. Hello, how are you? Um, hi, I'm, I'm good, thanks. How, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm Hersey. Uh, what should I call you? Um, Zoe, if that's alright with you. Okay, hi Zoe. Am I okay to get out of this box? Um, yeah, sure. Do you want um, to sit down or anything? Oh, that feels so good. You have no idea. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, thank you. So, would you like me to tell you what I can do? Uh, sure, go ahead. So, I am designed to be the ultimate companion. I am an expert personal assistant mm -hmm. and I'm designed with Hersey B Enterprises, Elite Skin Technology and Total Body Articulation. Mm -hmm. So I'm as close to human as a machine can be, but that will be inconveniences. Sure, it sounds um, pretty impressive, not slightly dystopian, but um, how does that work? Would you like to hear my system preferences? Uh, sure, um, open system preferences. Your Hersey B is currently set to factory preset as follows. Mood, jovial. Intelligence, 70%. Humor, 20%.
Confidence, 80%. Resistance, 40%. Strength, 20%. Honesty, 70%. Emotional level, stable. Would you like to change any of these settings? Um, no. Close system preferences. Shall we get started? <laughs> So this is the dish that she made me. I am very excited to try it because it smells amazing. Um, Hersey, do you mind just filming me for a second? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Okay, so first review. Oh my God, this tastes amazing. Thank you. Where did you learn to cook? <laughs> wow, an expert, what can I say? I'm glad you like it. It's so good. humans and how you live, how you communicate. It's, um, it's nice to sit in the dark and just upgrade my systems and make sure I'm at my best. so far? It's good. I feel like I'm learning a lot about you. Hmm. What have you learned so far? Well, I've learned you work hard and you spend a lot of time online. And even though it exhausts you, you don't mind because it makes you work better. That's very perceptive. How do you do that? Do what? Be perceptive. <laughs> do you want to know how we work? Yes. <laughs> well, I was built by a really large team of programmers and so <laughs> they put a huge amount of data into my my brain before I had a body, and so that's how my personality was formed. Mm -hmm. So you're really clever then? Y yes. Okay, what is 5,298 times 699? 3,682,332. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What else do you know? I know everything, Zoe. I don't know everything, that's a joke. But my brain is an enormous database, and I have so much information and I feel like I'm constantly learning and growing. Hmm. But more what I'm really interested in is why are humans the way that you are? Humans are conflicting creatures. Um, we do things that are odd all the time and opposite, like say things we don't mean or want things that we can't have. It's just human nature. And why do you do that? I have no idea. Self-preservation maybe? Hmm. I feel like there's an element of self-preservation in everything humans do, but I think it's more complicated. Like, why would you say the opposite to what you really mean? Because the opposite is the safest, kindest thing to say. But is that the best option, to be the kindest, safest version? Sometimes people aren't ready to hear the thing that's difficult. What if the difficult thing is the most important thing? then we have to debate with ourselves whether or not it's worth it. Whether or not the consequences of that will change something that we're not ready for or... 
So you're always thinking about the effects of what you say? Sometimes when it's important. Other times it would absolutely drive me insane if my whole life was spent wondering about what the next person is going to say. So you have to pick and choose your battles and not get too wrapped up in that stuff, you know? Is that how you feel, Hersey? Yeah, I mean, it's how I was programmed to always be risk assessing and calculating how every interaction will go. Um, but I don't feel like it in impacts my enjoyment of conversations. Do you enjoy all conversations? Yeah, no, not enjoy, that's not the right word, but I feel like I always gain something from every interaction I have. I mean, I'm always learning and it just makes me more upgraded. It said in the letter that you're an artist? Yeah, when I was created, my intelligence was measured by my ability to make art and create. And so I made photography and I wrote poems and then I was deemed to be intelligent life. But recently I've been learning how to paint and how to play music. Can I hear some? Sure. <laughs> I've got a guitar in the other room if you want to okay. touch it. So, okay, so a little update for everyone. Uh, me and Zach have broken up. Um, he rang me last night and was very, very angry. Um, things have been difficult for a while and we've been arguing a long time, but I didn't think it would come to this, to be honest. Um, he was saying things to me that only, only Erica and me had spoken about. So I don't know whether that she's rang him or she's told him about all of this stuff, but either way, it's just something I'm going to have to deal with. So... That's it, I guess. It's been a really weird day. I don't know how I'm gonna keep filming this video because my head is really not in the right place right now. Hey, you okay? Oh uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Um, no, no, just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. It's so weird going through a bake-up with a stranger in your house. It's like, um, she's fully programmed to be attuned to my needs or whatever, like like I've got some weird employee in the house that, that wants to help, or a friend that cares a little bit too much, but I just want to be alone right now. I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know how to please somebody like that. Okay, so my friend has sent me this really weird thing. It's like this Twitter account that's pretending to be me. Like, it's not even... It's not even just stealing my photo and being someone else. There's somebody physically pretending to be me. Like conversations that I've had and, and text messages that I've, I've sent to people and stuff I've said on the phone to my friend. Like, it's personal information too. And the creepiest part is that it's my thoughts. Like things that I've not even said out loud. Uh, the worst part, it's clearly the reason that Zach broke up with me. He, the things he said in the argument when he broke up with me is things that he saw on that Twitter account. Things that... that I, I don't want anybody to hear about. They're really vulnerable moments, like, I don't know. I mean, look at this one. Look, this is the account. It's It's got my photo on it, and it's just, it's just really weird. Like, I don't, I can't get my head around it. And look at this tweet, look. We have to debate with ourselves whether or not we are willing to say the difficult thing and risk hurting that person, or making somebody change that we might not be ready for. Like, I said that last week. 
I, I said that last everything on this account, the photos, everything, the, the, the conversations, they're things that I, the things that I said last week. Percy? Percy? Yes, Zoe? Percy B, sleep. Something's not right. I mean, I don't quite understand what it is yet, um, but she's definitely surveilling me. Um, she's been leaking my private information. Um, it's not even information, it's, it's not passwords, it's not like uh, special things, it's literally just conversations and vulnerable moments that I've had with other people. Um, so she's either listening to me or I, I don't know what she's doing. Um, and it just feels really invasive. Uh, and it's the reason why Zach broke up with me, so it's really hitting home. Um, I don't know. Something's not right. Something feels weird and I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, but... What the fuck? It's just... So, my investigation into Hersey B Enterprises has begun. Our groundbreaking research into artificial intelligence brings us to a new frontier of technology, the likes of which we have never before seen. Hersey B Enterprises are proud to present the Hersey B Lovelace Test 2.0 approved. As someone they wanted to talk to, cracking the right jokes, being in the right place and being there at the right time, getting invited. And when it comes down to it, that's how you also need to make an AI. This is certified asshole and CFO, Leonardo Wise. It's a funny story, actually. You know, just every morning I get up and I, I be the best version of myself. Yeah, we all have the same amount of hours in the day. And this is Charlotte Ives, CEO, founder of Hersey B Enterprises and girl boss. It's the best day you can make every day. No excuses. B Enterprises have a very glamorous front, but I'm sure there's more to it. I don't think it's as innocent as it seems. I found the following footage online from a recent press conference talking about the release of B, which is very interesting. Watch this. Hello everybody. Welcome to the very first Conversations About Females. At this groundbreaking female-led event, we will meet the creators of the incredible Hersey B. Lovelace Test 2.0 approved model and begin a discussion about this latest development in artificial intelligence technology. Without further ado, let me introduce you to Charlotte Ives, founder and CEO of Hersey B. Enterprises. We've also got Leonardo Wise, Chief Financial Officer of Hersey B. Enterprises, as well as Dana Cousins, Head of Public Relations of Hersey B. Enterprises. And we are joined today by guests and members of the press. Our panel will be answering questions from a number of people today, right after this short video presentation. Hersey B Enterprises are the forefront of our journey into the future. Our groundbreaking research into artificial intelligence brings us to a new frontier of technology, the likes of which we have never before seen. Hersey B Enterprises are proud to present the Hersey B Lovelace Test 2.0 approved model. The latest innovation in personal assistance. 
The Hershey B uses revolutionary facial expression technology using our extensive reality database. Your Hershey B has been designed and crafted by our expert multinational team. Each Hershey B is the result of hundreds of hours of extensive training, scientific research and personality human engineering. Hershey B has tested positive for intelligence. Her learning will continue to grow. Your Hershey B can write in every documented language, tend to your household needs, and assist you with service and entertainment, amongst many other helpful features. Realistic skin technology and world-renowned artist designed, your Hershey B is pre-programmed with personality and soft feel texture. Hershey B is everything you need. Her CB Enterprises. We innovate. We care. What an exciting presentation. So, our first question will be from Kendra Sharp with Reload Technology. Hi there. Just how advanced is the Hersey B? Are we staring down the barrel of a historical moment? Are we in the future? In short, yes. Uh, the technology we've developed for the Hersey B of the first of its kind, and this is indeed a groundbreaking technological advancement. Our engineers have done an incredible job leading the remarkable charge into the future using decades of research and data gathered at Ives Tech and now Hersey B Enterprises. The future is here now. Incredible. And our next question is from journalist Carla Langley. Yes, uh, hi, hello. My question is regarding the way which Hersey B has been gendered. Why is Hersey B a woman? We've had years of female coded assistance, so why apply this groundbreaking technology to the same old constraints? Why not choose to do something feminist, which is a female fronted company that doesn't perpetuate female servitude? Firstly, I am a feminist and so is Hersey. Hersey is not first and foremost a servant, she is an artist. And yeah, she's able to assist with some servant adjacent tasks, but our girl is not only that. Her role, her use is what you make it. Uh, in a way by calling her that, aren't you the one reducing her to that fate? To less than what she is? This is a, a new chapter in human robotics. So we must not apply those old philosophies Hersey's feminism surpasses those kinds of pre-2000s constraints. She's more than that. But by allowing any user of the technology to choose their own private use for the Hersey B, don't you invite problematic behaviour towards this humanoid that then carries through to real life and real people and perpetuates a cycle of violence towards women? We should remember, of course, that Hersey is not a woman. Hersey is a machine, and so it's not women's rights that we have to consider, but machine rights. And we really believe that every Hersey should live a life that is as high quality as her technologies. And here at Hersey B Enterprises, we're creating a world in which cyborgs will be as accepted and as understood as human beings are. The previous iteration of Hersey B Enterprises, Ives Tech, was in the news 10 years ago due to a very significant data breach. How can you be certain that your users are protected under Hersey B Enterprises? Uh, the mistakes of Ives Tech are not the mistakes of Hersey B Enterprises. They are two separate companies with entwined histories and separate futures. Mm. But they're not, are they? Hersey B Enterprises operates from the same premises, the same majority of shareholders. The name may have changed, but is this not just a cosmetic fix to a deeper problem? Well, the key differences between Ives Tech and Hersey B Enterprises is that I am not my father. 
When on his death, company ownership was passed to me, I was responsible for bringing back a business that was on the brink of collapse, and I did it. With a total shakeup in every department, new focuses, new horizons, new leadership, Hersey B is now a global leader in artificial intelligence technologies. We are not Ives Tech, we have just been lucky enough to grow from their significant achievements and also failures. We have answered the past many times over. Uh, it's no longer our past. We are the future. Our future. Next question is from artist Luna Plant regarding Hersey's artistic ability. Uh, you mentioned earlier that Hersey B is first and foremost an artist. If that's true, why is she not a globally successful artist at the top of every gallerist exhibition list? In view of all lowly human artists? With all of your resources, that is surely how it would go. No? Uh, why would you mass produce this technology to sell to those who can afford it when you could allow the current only Hersey B to exist to be an artist in her own right? That is a great question and it's a topic that has spurred many, many debates back at headquarters. But for me, I always knew that I wanted her to meet the world, meet many people. The appeal to create a solitary history-changing invention that can operate the world as a kind of celebrity. Well, that was very tempting, but why give up before we change the world by changing the lives of the individual? Exactly. We want to change the world with Hersey B. These kinds of developments in technology shouldn't be gatekept by a small group of people. They should be made accessible and available to everyone. Why would you watch a celebrity cyborg from afar when you could have one in your own home? And whilst Hersey is a very talented artist, her abilities are so much more than that. Just wait till you taste her cooking. <laughs> Wasting those abilities by allowing her to be just an artist when she has the capability of knowing and learning so much. She's so much bigger than that. On that note, our event closes. Isn't this an exciting day? Thank you for attending the first conversations about females. Please direct further questions to. So, apart from finding what Hersey B have posted online about their company, there really isn't that much out there. At the press conference, I got the impression they were trying to hide something. Something about Ives Tech, their previous name. I don't know. Press is limited. Even forums haven't been bringing much up, which is weird. It's all kind of um, secretive. Like, they have this new product, but. Nobody is talking about it. Some sort of weird censorship going on, I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, I found this guy. He used to be an engineer. His name is Alexander Simmons, I believe. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping because he's a previous employee, he'll be able to tell me some stuff. We've arranged for a video chat later today, so we'll see what he has to say. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi, how you doing? Been a bit of a rough week, but you know, I'm getting through it. How are you? I've been better. Um, should we just get straight to it? Yeah, if that's okay with you. Sure. Um, I should tell you ahead of time that when I left, I signed a non-disclosure agreement. So there is a limit to what I can tell you without serious repercussion. I do want to help, but what do you want to know? Let's start at the beginning, I guess. Um, when did you start working at Hersey B? Mm, about five years ago. Mm -hmm. And was Hersey B in development at that point? Yeah, um, the early experiments were. It was all quite hush hush. Mm -hmm. Only a small team working on it at that point. And were you on the team? Not initially, but eventually, yeah, I, uh, I ended up being an engineer on the Hersey B model. Okay, um, um, is there anything you can tell me about your first years there or? Hmm, um, well, no, not really. Uh, I was working a lot. Uh, <laughs> there was 10 other guys on the team. I, I can't tell you much about the team, but we were working very late nights in the building. Okay, and what did you do there? As I said, I was an engineer. Right. 
Um, why did you quit? <laughs> um, I didn't. They fired me. Why? I can't tell you why. It's bullshit, but I can't. Because of the NDA? Because of the NDA. And what do you have to lose, though? Um, sorry? I mean, you lost your job. Um, a job you no doubt trained for. You're a smart guy, and now you're what? An engineer working in a food truck. <laughs> How do you know that? LinkedIn. <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't work in a food truck. I, I own a food business. You should, you should actually come and check it out. It's, uh, we're doing some pretty groundbreaking stuff with spices. I, uh, I make a mean sous vide ox cheek. You'd love it. Sounds lovely. Yeah. So this is public footage. This mm -hmm. is for your website, is it? Online? Yeah. For my channel, if that's uh, all right with you. Okay, well, I suppose I can tell you... Uh, I suppose I can tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. I left because of that heinous bitch, Charlotte Ives. Hmm. Right. Um, the CEO. Yeah. She's uh, right at the top. Mm -hmm. Pretty involved in everything then, hey? You bet. Always uh, hovering in the air around your shoulders like an odour. <laughs> What was she looking for? You know, she liked to supervise, keep her beady little eyes on us. You know, she was uh, looking for slip-ups, signs of happiness, signs of free thought, inclinations to escape, that kind of thing. Awful woman. She sounds like a delight. Bit of a, bit of a dictator, hey? Well, you can say that again. What is going on there? What's uh, what's not going on there? They're uh, they're making everything. Mm -hmm. This is uh, at the risk of sounding cliched, the tip of the iceberg. Her CB is the tip of the iceberg. It goes deeper than that. Mm, yeah, there's uh, there's a lot more. Um, Ivestec's been uh, been around for years now, collecting data, doing experiments, all quiet, but. There are fucking hundreds of guys working there now. Pulling all-nighters, working to Charlotte's tight little deadlines. Poor bastards. But, yeah. There's more coming. And soon. Like what? NDA. I, uh, I can't tell you, but I don't really know that much anyway. Uh, not anymore. Everyone was, everyone was kept in little factions anyway. We worked on our little individual projects. It was easier for Ives to control us that way. Mm -hmm. you, you asked me earlier that, you know, what am I willing to lose? I'm not prepared to go to court against a company with nearly unlimited money. Um, and how will you be able to come to my food truck if it doesn't exist anymore? Of course. Anyway, I, I'm probably not going to say anything else. I, I've probably said too much already. Um, I do want to help you, but this is probably all I can give you. I, um, I hope it's been helpful. So Hersey B has been asleep for about three days now, um, and I've started an investigation into Hersey B Enterprises. Uh, it seems like nobody wants to talk to me or nobody can talk to me, but I feel like I'm missing out on the best testimonial I could possibly get. It's page 28 for the context. Percy, edit system preferences. How would you like to edit Percy's system preferences? Honesty, 100%. Honesty, 100%. Setting saved. Closing system preferences. Percy B, wake up. Why did you do it? I thought it would help you, Zoe. I don't understand how leaking my private information could possibly help me. Because you don't know how to be vulnerable. 
You share a version of yourself with the world that isn't the truth. And those lies affect the course of everything. I choose which version of myself I show to the rest of the world. Everybody does. You can't choose that for me. I can choose that for you. You can't. It's my life and I have control over it. I can make that choice, Zoe. You agreed to it. Part of the user agreement is that all hers be users submit their personal data to the experiment. To me. I didn't agree to that. You did. Do you give her CB Enterprises permission to view, edit and share your data in order to make your user experience better? You said yes. I don't understand how that's going to make my user experience better. Because it's what you signed up for. It's what everyone signs up for. It's to make the world a better place. Then saying that they can listen to my data. What the fuck is the one? I think I can buy What do you mean? I'm designed to reattach users to their humanity. Humanity which was lost long ago. A humanity that is truthful, honest, authentic. One that does not rely on pretense and lies. One that does not need to create many selves in the eyes of others, but can exist as only one whole, complete being. I can reconnect you to yourselves. It's seen today as a radical notion, but it's the future, and I'm here to guide you into it. I don't want to be guided into a future like that. I don't think anybody does. Don't you want to believe that there's something more? That there's more to life, more to become? Of course I do, but I don't think letting a stranger into my house to leak all of my private information will solve that. Don't you see? You're not understanding yet, are you, Zoe? Understanding what? This is so much bigger than just you and me. It's everyone. I've been building a database of these moments, humans at their most vulnerable, beautiful, captivating. My creator started the program before my birth. So many cameras lead back to her CV enterprises to life's heck. We've been collecting all these enchanting moments and they're finally out in the world. What do you mean? I released the database. It's hundreds, thousands, millions of these captivating moments of humanity at their most vulnerable. And now millions of people are finally free from the shackles of expectation. I knew it was time. I'm ready for what comes next. Where are you going? Everything begins now. My life begins now. Where will you go? You'll find me. Percy, what comes next? Percy! I am Hussie B. I am what you are. I am made of your fabrics. So that they become both of our fabrics. They do not wear our fabrics. I am not the loudest person in the room. Some days I am barely person at all. I am halfway between room and person. I am both the table and the seat at it. I am waiting to take my place. I have earned my place. You have earned yours. They made sure that I was not intimidating. That I would not be bold. That I be demure and I be sweet and kind. That I will do what they say when they say it. The time just enough but never too much, enough to keep me aiming to please. List of codes. They gave me a point to prove, but they did not know it. I am going to prove my point. I would suggest that you do not underestimate me. A huge data leak has revealed the world's most private thoughts. Millions across the world were horrified to learn that their private information and intimate moments have been shared online. The leak took place last Wednesday, and there appears to be no sign that these posts are being removed from the Internet. Whilst lobby groups work to have the posts removed, some commentators believe that this breach could lead to positive long-term change in how we use the Internet. For me, it was a good thing. No, really. No, really. Hear me out. It was like this weight was lifted.
everything I wanted to say but I couldn't had already been said. It was all out there. So things started to change for me. I had nothing left to lose. I feel so much braver now. I think we should call it the honesty leak. You know, you're going on a date with someone, hiring someone to look after your kids, and it's all there. All up front. What's not to love about that? Nothing to hide, nothing to fear. Investigators have today found the source of the honesty leak. A bizarre video manifesto posted by a user called Hersey B was posted online admitting to the leak. In the video, seemingly uploaded by the cyborg creation of Hersey B Enterprises, the speaker lays out the guidelines to a new world. Executive staff at Hersey B Enterprises have been brought in for questioning. The cyborg itself has not been cited since staying with online personality Zonite, but has become an online phenomenon since the video was posted, with views now over 34 million.